Hello everybody, this is Crossbow Vanguards. I'm the captain here and what happened? Excuse the video quality on this one and I apologize if the video doesn't have the usual polish that we do But we wanted to get this out immediately, or at least I wanted to when I get home uh, But basically, big news dropped earlier today which I am sure that all of you guys have heard right now uh, The IG Legend deck was announced for release on April 7, 2017 Japanese of course not only that, but they've also released news of their upcoming releases up till July this year. Uh, but we'll get to them pretty soon. But oh my god! I mean, we knew that this was coming, but I personally didn't expect it this soon. We just got an Alfred slash Swordsman of Light boost in GPT-09, what the heck? And of course, a lot of questions are popping up like what's Blaster Blade Exceed skill? What's Alfred Holy Saber gonna be like? Will there be G-Guardians released for this legend deck? And I say hold your horses. Let's look at the overall picture here. Now on to the other releases. On May 12th, we've got Fighters Collection 2017. No surprises there. We've also got a due release sometime in June for Kazumi Onimaru's Numatama Trial deck as well as GBD-11 which covers Royal Paladin because the IG legend deck needs a boost. We've got Numatama because the trial deck needs a boost. Genesis. Kagero, Dark Irregulars, and Gear Chronicle. And lastly, in July, Bermuda Triangle's yearly release is back, and not just with the Clan Booster, but a Trial Deck. Yeah, I'm serious. A Trial Deck for Bermuda Triangle. What the fuck? But what does this all mean? Well, first off, secondly, will the meta change with all these releases? Royal Pioneer Blasters have got a very powerful boost with just 2-3 to three cards on GBT-06 and with the IG Legend deck which for certain will look towards boosting blasters, could we see a resurgence of Royal Pioneer players? Not only that, but with the ease of access of a trial deck for Nubutama and Bermuda Triangle, could we see them rise up to the top? And will the slower paced releases of current meta decks like Gear Chronicle and Grand Blue turn players into trying new things? That depends on the skilled Bushiro releases for us players and what us players will do with them to break the system. All I know is that for those not in the competitive scene, we're gonna have a ton of fun in the next few months. So do expect us to explore these future releases in as many ways as we can. So be sure to subscribe to us here at Cosmo Vanguards and ring that little bell next to the subscribe button. I don't know what I'm pointing at. Uh, but do ring that bell to keep up to date with all of our new content, both regular and impromptu. Uh, at the same time, do follow us on all of our socials. We're on Facebook at Cosmo Vanguards, we're on Twitter at Cosmo VGS, and we also have a blog, CosmoVanguards.com. We also have a Discord server, which you can find the links in the description box below. And you can usually find us there, and you can just talk to us, and you gotta have a lot of fun over there. And also, do consider supporting us on Patreon so that we can afford a webcam and maybe a screen as well, so you don't have to see my ugly bedroom background with my narcissistic picture over there. Ah. So with that said, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!